Are our people unrecruitable? Have we done such a good job leading our people, making sure that they love us, making sure that every single day we're training them to get better, that they are unrecruitable? When I have a meeting and I said, hey, whoever lost the keys is gonna pay. The guy that lost the keys isn't mad. He's just laughing, he's like, it wasn't me. I blame my brother. Yeah, it was Ian, it was Evan. Here's the goal. If I'm telling you right now that your entitlement's getting in the way, you're entitled if you're getting mad. I'm gonna tell you this, right now, everybody's got another gear and another level that they can go to. Am I right? Would everybody agree? Okay, what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? Watch Burkheimer, come here. Just come here for a minute. You have no idea, and he's, he shared some stuff. How many times have you literally sat there and just been like, shit, man, how are we gonna pull this one off? <laughs> how many times, and you know what? Every single time, he counted on his people to pull him out. Right. Because an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Cannot be beat, a team. And you guys are his team. You're his family, you're his blood. You shouldn't work for him for a paycheck. You work for him for blood, sweat, and tears. Because this guy gives a shit. And I've never seen the kind of love that this guy cares about with his people. He's here with his entire family, and as I've met everybody in the company, you know what I think? I think we're like a spaceship waiting to take off. But you know what? We're gonna have to change. Every single one of you, if you're a general manager in here right now and you don't have a Facebook account and you're not going live with your team and you're not doing Facebook, you're a hypocrite. You're teaching people, you're giving advice and you won't take advice. Do you feel me? If you're a manager in here right now and you're telling your team to do something that you won't do, Shame on you, man. You're not a manager, you're a leader. I mean, you're not a leader, you're a manager. Does this world need any more managers? Do we need any more people to manage? We need leaders. Guys, I wanna ask you a question. I'm gonna be brutally honest. Are our people unrecruitable? Are our people unrecruitable? Have we done such a good job leading our people, making sure that they love us, making sure that every single day we're training them to get better, that they are unrecruitable? If I called any of your people right now, Burkheimer, and I said, I'm gonna give you $20,000 more than Burkheimer's paying you per month, 20 grand more. No, you know what? I'm gonna give you 50 grand more. Come work for me. When they say, stick it up your ass, I'm not going anywhere. I love Burkheimer. He loves me, I love him, I love his company, I'm gonna die with him. You know, you managers in here, you create that culture, okay? It's not about you. It's a privilege to be a leader. It's not a title, it's a privilege. You know the reason why it's so easy to beat all these other stores right now? Because they have managers, they suck. They don't take care of their people and they don't say what they're, they, when they say do this, they do the opposite or they don't stay consistent. How many times have you guys had a goal had a meeting, hey, from now on, we're gonna start doing this, but then next week it goes away. All the time. Look, I'm gonna tell you this, I want you to win in every area of life in this room, and I wanna tell you this, I'm blessed to be here with you guys, okay? And I understand what it's operate to operate as a company business owner. I have a team of 30 or 40 people that will give their lives. If somebody walks in with a gun, they will take a bullet for me, every one of them. You know why? Because I'll take a bullet for them. And I've watched this guy lay out money to build the empire so you guys can have this great life. Mm -hmm. They've sacrificed and leveraged in ways that no one knows, I guarantee, and they'll never even speak of because they don't want to stress you out. Who's willing to share the pressure of all the years and everything that they've put on the line together as a family? Who's willing to share the pressure for these next two years while the market's hot and pay them back for the risk they've taken? Who's ready? Now I'm going to ask this question. How many of you are telling the truth? Wives, I need you to support your husbands. Husbands, I need you to tell your wives the truth. That right now, we're never going to get this market back. You're making history. You're in history right now. I'm going to tell you, whatever you made last year, you could have tripled that. Just to let you know, you could have tripled it. But we can't go back and get what we lost last year. And as, as much as you said you did great last year, you did do great. You know what pisses me off? Is we could have done three times more and you guys know it. 